What's up everyone? I'm Pamela. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be discussing some clues that point towards Billy Loomis being one of the killers in Scream. Let's get into it. A certain rule! Push the laws and you end up dead. This is the moment when the supposedly dead killer comes back to life. Not in my movie. Surprise, Sydney. He's gone mad. We all go a little mad sometimes. A very simple formula! You wanna play psycho killer? Everybody's a suspect! No, please don't kill me, Mr. Ghostface. I wanna be in the sequel. I'll be right back! Okay, I think it's gonna go something like this. So I did another video for this for Nancy Loomis in Scream 2. This was like over a year ago. I'll link it for you guys if you want to check that out. But I finally decided to do one for Billy. And I'll probably make this a little series eventually. I'll do like all the ghost face killers, but let's get into some clues that point towards Billy being one of the killers in the first Scream. So first up, we have just the fact that he went to Sydney's bedroom right after Casey's murder. When you think about it, it's pretty obvious that he just wanted to make an alibi for himself. He was already out and about during the time that Casey was killed. So I do consider this a clue. Next up, we have his boots. We know that Ghostface wears these black boots and Billy can be seen wearing these boots during the fountain scene. So on your first time watch of this movie, if you're able to put that together, then you might figure out that Billy is one of the killers. Another clue we have that he's a ghost face is the cell phone that he drops out of his pocket when he comes running to save Sydney during Sydney's first attack at her house. Stu obviously did the attack, but there was also a ghost face on the phone and that was obviously Billy. And you know, he drops his cell phone and that is initially what makes Sydney very suspicious of him. It's in that moment that she accuses him of being the killer. Another clue is that he makes a lot of horror movie references and he's pretty subtle about it, as opposed to like Randy, who is clearly a self-proclaimed horror fan. Billy is very subtle with it, but he does make several horror movie references throughout the entire movie. In that first scene in Sydney's bedroom, he references The Exorcist. The Exorcist was on. Got me thinking of you. Later on when he's in Stu's parents' bedroom with Sydney, he references Silence of the Lambs. It's like Jodie Foster in Silence of the Lambs. When he's standing in the horror movie section in the video store. So Billy is clearly a horror fan. And that could be considered a little clue that he is one of the killers. You like scary movies? Uh-huh. What's your favorite scary movie? Uh -huh. Another clue, in my opinion, is his haircut. We know that Cotton Weary has been arrested for Maureen Prescott's murder. Gail seems to be the only one who thinks he's innocent and that he was framed. And if you notice, Cotton Weary and Billy Loomis have the same haircut. We can see Cotton on the news in the back of a police car. So, you know, if you're a cop or a detective and you're good at your job, you might notice that and put that together like, hmm, they have similar haircuts. Sydney thinks that she saw Cotton at her house the night of her mom's murder, but it was really Billy. Another clue is when Sydney asks him, who did you call in jail? And he says, my dad. But then she says, no, I saw Sheriff Burke call your dad. And then finally, some other clues is in the video store scene, Randy calls him out a few times. Randy suspects that Billy is the killer. He says, Billy has killer printed all over his forehead. He also says, the dad's a red herring, it's Billy. He also says, now you're telling me that's not a killer. So there really were several clues that Billy was one of the killers. Not to mention just how shady and suspicious Billy acts throughout the entire movie. When you think about it, he really does make it pretty obvious that he's a killer. There you have it. Those are some clues that Billy Loomis 
was a ghost face in the first Scream movie. Please leave a comment down below if there are any clues that I forgot. Please give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already. Please turn on all notifications so that you don't miss out on any of my future posts. Thanks for tuning into another video and I will see you guys next time.